Hi, welcome to automation control step by step. Today we will discuss INC design basics overview. When it comes to instrument and control design basics, there are certain things which you should know. I will let you know what all you should know for starting instrument and control design. So when it comes to instrument design, you should know design of instruments, instrumentation auxiliaries, how to protect instruments against the environment and alarm and emergency systems. When it comes to design of instruments, we will be considering temperature measurement, flow measurement, level measurement, pressure measurement, control valves and safety valves. When it comes to temperature measurement, we should decide the thermo well, then the type of temperature element, also we should then decide type of temperature element that is RTD or thermocouple. When it comes to flow measurement, you should know whether you should you need to measure volumetric flow or mass flow. If only volumetric flow is enough, then there are many ways in which you can measure flow. The most common and cheapest way is to use a differential pressure flow transmitter. When you use a differential pressure flow transmitter, you only have to care about the primary flow element. The primary flow element can be orifice plate, flow nozzle, venturi. They work on the principle of Bernoulli's, which states that velocity head and pressure head in a pipe remains constant. We measure pressure differential and this differential pressure or DP is directly proportional to the flow. There are other types of flow measurements such as vortex flow meter which requires to place a buff body in the pipe and then measuring vortices produced due to the flow. Then you should know about mass flow meters. There are two ways of measuring mass flow. One is Coriolis mass flow meter and the other is thermal mass flow meter. After this we have another measurement and that is pressure measurement. Pressure is measured by way of pressure transmitters and pressure transmitters are composed of diaphragm pressure sensor. That's the most common sensor which is used. One other thing of note is that there are two types of pressure measurement and those are gauge pressure and absolute pressure. Gauge pressure is the pressure with respect to atmospheric pressure whereas absolute pressure is pressure with respect to vacuum. Then we come to level measurement. We can use DP type pressure transmitter to measure level. Other ways are radar level transmitter, ultrasonic level transmitter, capacitance level transmitter. When it comes to instrumentation auxiliaries, you should know how to provide power to the instrument and also provide the air supply to the instrument. When it comes to protection of instruments, you should know the ingress protection rating and the NEMA rating. NEMA rating is used in North America and ingress protection or IP rating is used primarily in Europe. We will discuss about instrumentation auxiliaries and how to protect the instrument in the upcoming videos. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.